I'm Akhil, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how users can access an application running on an Amazon EMR cluster through an application load balancer if the cluster is launched in a private subnet. Let's get started. For this video, let's assume you already have an EMR cluster configured and running in a private subnet. First, we will log into the AWS management console and navigate to the Elastic Compute Cloud console. Then, select Load Balancers from the navigation pane. Next, we will launch an application load balancer. We are launching the application load balancer to distribute traffic to the EMR cluster that's running in a private subnet. Make sure you are choosing the same region as your EMR cluster. To create an application load balancer, choose Create Load Balancer and then choose Create for Application Load Balancer. Let us name the ALB as EMR ALB. We will choose the scheme as internet facing as this will be fronting the EMR cluster which is launched in a private subnet. Choose the IP address type as IPv4. Next, create listeners for the application load balancer. Configure the load balancer protocol as HTTP and load balancer port as port 80. Configure availability zones. I will choose a VPC and I will choose the availability zones US West 2A and US West 2B and choose subnets from these availability zones. We need to select a public subnet because we are launching an internet facing load balancer. We can skip add on services as it is not needed for this scenario. Optionally, you can configure an HTTPS listener with a certificate and select a security policy for it. Then choose next. Choose next again. Choose a security group to allow traffic from clients to reach the ALB from the internet. Choose next again. Now create a target group. Remember the target type needs to be of the type IP because we will register the IP address of the EMR clusters master node. We will name the target group as EMR master node TG. Then we will choose the target type as IP and the protocol as HTTP and port as 8998. We will keep the HTTP protocol version as HTTP1. Now let us configure health checks. Keep the protocol as HTTP and path as forward slash. I will keep the advanced health check settings as it is. However, if you would like to modify any value, then you can change it accordingly and then choose next. Next, on the targets page, Specify the IP address of the EMR cluster. Choose the network as VPC, which will match the VPC ID. Then, specify the IP address of the EMR cluster's master node here. Choose the port as 8998 and then choose Add to List. Then, choose Next to check the ALB and target group configuration before we go ahead and create it. Review the configuration and then choose Create. Now that the ALB is being created, it is in the provisioning state. Wait till the ALB moves into the active state. After the ALB has transitioned to the active state, test the setup. For testing, send a command to the EMR cluster to see if it responds with a successful HTTP response status code. To do this, I will log into my test EC2 instance and run the command. We can see that the command is submitted to an application running on the EMR cluster. We received a 201 created response from the Amazon EMR cluster or the application server. Now you know how to configure an application load balancer to send request to an application running on an EMR cluster that's launched in a private subnet. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.